Hello and welcome back to Podcast with a K. I'm your host, Carla with a K. You're listening to 90.1 WECS-FM and I'm joined here tonight on this fine Sunday evening by Jess and Vanya. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hello. How are y'all tonight? We're doing good. A little stressed, you know. It's all stressed <laughs> about. I have a five-page paper due tomorrow, but oh. here we are. Girl. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we also registered for classes at 7 a.m. Oh, and I haven't picked out my really? schedule, so. Oof. Well, it's a good thing you're already up. That all-nighter spin and just keep I'm it sorry. all going. <laughs> well, speaking, I guess, of which, you guys are new to the show, so how about some introductions? So, I'm Vanya. I'm a sophomore at Eastern, sociology major. What's your zodiac sign, more importantly? I'm a Libra, and that is on period itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So, it's major and a Libra. Amazing. I know uh, another Libra that's also majoring in sociology. Who? Kim, right? Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. Daniela, too, actually. Oh, snap. Yeah. A trend? <laughs> Are you telling me astrology has something to do with your decisions mm, in life? You know. I think so. It is everything. Yes. <laughs> Vanya, do you believe in astrology? Yeah. Uh, what are some Libra traits, then, that you feel like you represent well? Uh, definitely being indecisive. <laughs> <laughs> um. I feel like that's probably, like, my biggest one. But, like, also, like, just being, like, super, like, I don't know, like, like, the whole, like, they, they say that we're, like, into romance and stuff is, like, for me. <laughs> hopeless definitely romantic, true. for sure. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. I might not show it all the time, but I am definitely a hopeless romantic. Okay, Casanova. <laughs> <laughs> Them retweets we show in it. <laughs> <laughs> the likes, the likes. Oh, it's all in the likes. It's all in the likes. <laughs> yeah, that's where, that's where it's at. Honestly. That's where the truth hides. Uh, Jess, how about you? Um, I'm Jessica. I'm a sophomore at Eastern. I'm majoring in criminology, minoring in pre-line philosophy, and I am an Aries. Oh, snap. A fire sign. My sister is an Aries. She's been on the show, and y'all know her. Mm -hmm. Y'all live with her. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, How do you feel about astrology, then? I I definitely believe in astrology. I feel like any time that I read anything having to do with um, Aries, <laughs> like it just describes me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I'm definitely short tempered and impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <I'm> really impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like Jess, like it could literally be like they love uh, Mountain Dew. She'd be like, oh my god, like yes. <laughs> <laughs> what a quinkening! I have a Mountain Dew right here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, no, it's good to have y'all both here that believe in astrology because usually we have a mix of guests that do or don't or they just don't at all. So it's always nice to have uh, people who pay enough attention to be able to list their own traits, which means I don't have to do the research. (laughs) But yeah, um, I definitely believe in it. Uh, I didn't really used to. I thought it was just kind of like for fun Mm -hmm. and kind of vague. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in in recent uh, years, let's say, I feel like there's been a lot more coincidences, I guess, as you say, that it's just kind of like, well, the stars are out there. The universe is Mm -hmm. filled up with them. So who's to say we can't read them? Right. No, I've definitely been trying to get more into astrology. Yeah, same. But um, and I feel like there's just so much to it. Like all these like astrology girls on Twitter. Yeah, it's just a lot to keep up with. (laughs) Yeah, like I'm like barely like starting to learn more about mine. Like, let alone like other people's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I definitely look into like the compatibility and all oh, that that's yeah, something sure. that i would always be like on the app checking the compatibility like, I was yeah, like, yeah. like you'd be so sad when you would say like 12 percent compatibility with like, your crush I'm like no no he's <laughs> rising me bro <laughs> secretly all hopeless romantics uh but that reminds me of i don't know if y'all grew up with it but like the brats.com like love meter you would put you and your yes. crush's oh, name yes. Yes, that I was also. I was so mad when my crush wasn't there. I was like, yeah. "Bring you refresh." <laughs> <laughs> you got to find out. <laughs> uh, luckily, the stars can tell us the truth. I don't know. There was one a uh, few weeks ago that I saw on Twitter, like one of those astrology girls tweeted something, mm-hmm. and it was kind of generic and kind of vague. And I was like, mm, "Okay, interesting." And then someone put like a reply of a more detailed version of it, mm-hmm. and they're like, "I also have been looking into it, and this is what I found." And I read it, and I was like, "Well, this doesn't really fit the vibe of my life, but you know, I'm gonna still like it just in case, right?" right? And then later that week, exactly what it said would happen, happened. Bruh. And it was just kind of like oddly specific too. And I'm just like, there's no way this could apply to anyone else. And so I asked my roommate, I was like, yo, would you say that this describes your week? And she's like, no, not at all. What? And then I read her hers and she said, oh, dude, yeah, yeah, that's exactly mm-hmm. what happened. And I was just like, the stars don't lie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I definitely believe in like all that, like getting your cards read and everything. Yeah, oh, it's really? It's cool. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Cause like, and then people like always like make the argument like oh like it's just like blanket terms like super like vague like ideas and stuff so like it applies to everybody yeah but it's like I don't know because sometimes it just gets really specific yeah and like how like 
like how yeah and it's like i be reading other signs stuff too and i'm just like that doesn't apply to my right. life at all right no i always send vanya hers i'm like this sounds exactly like you like yeah. all this stuff like <laughs> same with her mm-hmm. right either way whether you believe in it or not believe in something yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> um in the continued interest of getting to know our guests through music how about jess give us a song to listen to Okay, so um, like I said, I've been big on podcasts recently, not enough on music. However, whenever I hear this song, you know, I always get with it. So El Favor by Nicky Jam. All right. And this one's got a bunch of people on this track. We got Faruko, Zach, Zion, and Dimago Flo. So let's listen to that. Let's. That was El Favor. What a bop. Already we're starting with some fire tracks. (laughs) Love that. Speaking of fire tracks and stuff like that, y'all, Bad Bunny yesterday. Woo. Thoughts? It was so fun. It was so late. Worth it? Yes, Hell, definitely. definitely. Because these kids also were a part of the the squad that sat outside for like four hours in <laughs> oh, almost yes. freezing weather waiting for tickets. <laughs> Even though people ended up getting tickets anyway on a wait list, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, we did the whole thing, huh? Right, it was for the experience. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a story to tell, so mm-hmm. give us y'all's version of that, from tickets to show. Ooh. Well, like, at first, like, I heard people were going to be there out, out there early, and I was like, oh, like, they're probably lying. Like, mm-hmm. I can just show up at, like, 7, like, earliest, and, mm-hmm. like, like, I'll get my ticket. And then when I heard stuff, people start talking about, like, no, like, I'm going to be there at 5, I'm going to be there at 4. I was like, wait, like, for real? Right. They're like, yeah, like, you know? And then, like, they convinced me last minute. I was like, okay, like, fine, I'll go with you guys. Oh, yeah, you were trying to come at six, weren't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Okay, so, high key, again, I also thought people were, like, I knew people were going to try to get there early, right? Seven, yeah. so maybe six. Right. Those few people that were going to be extra and be there right. at five. So I started saying as a joke, bro, you might as well make it four. And if you want to be the people <laughs> at four, make it three, honestly. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, I have a radio show. I'll just, I'll just sit outside after the show, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I heard people say that they were actually going at four because after i got back from my show i went back to my uh to my hall and i ran into one of our friends Mm -hmm. and he was like oh yeah i'm just gonna go shower real quick get some blankets and we're gonna go outside at like three or four and i was just like wait wait wait, wait, why and when he was (laughs) like oh well we heard other people were and weren't you saying that too and i'm like has a joke joke. (laughs) (laughs) and so we got out here and there's literally like this is at three in the morning because I saw on uh, Snaps uh, Maps that someone was out here, and so I came out. I was like, "Who's out here? For real, for real!" <laughs> it's already like twenty people. And oh I'm just my like, god, dude! So I, I called my sister. She lives with Chella, and I called yeah. her. I was like, "Bro, if you're coming, you're coming now!" Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, because that was the original plan to like uh, our roommate Jackie. She convinced us because she's like, "Yeah, like I'm gonna go there at like four. And we're like, "Okay, like fine, we'll just join you, like just in case, you know. Mm-hmm. If anything, we'll be the first ones, you know. That's right. fine." No such so, luck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I pull up and there's a whole tent out there. Yeah, a whole, a whole tent. tent. <laughs> a whole tent. And we got there at like, what, 4.15-ish maybe? Yeah. I, I mean, woke yeah. up at 3. I was mad. I was like, if there's already yes. too many people, I'm yeah. staying in bed. Yeah, I woke up and I was like, <sighs> I was like, is it really worth it? I was, I was thinking that. Really you gotta do it. it. It had to be done though. Yes, it did. And do y'all listen to Bad Bunny like that much to where you would have camped out in oh. any other circumstance? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, probably, yeah. Cause like yeah, he just became so big and like so big and so fast. Cause yeah. he has so many like he just keeps dropping hit after hit after hit. And, and when he's like, not doing his own music, he's featured on someone else's. Right, yeah, exactly. he's the new pitbull, bro. Literally. His first <laughs> name is featuring. Yeah. No, I've definitely been on the bad bunny way for a while. Right. But um, like for a while, like I stopped listening to like reggaeton. But then when I came here, I know it's like really popular. Mm-hmm. And Bad Bunny's everywhere, so mm-hmm. how can you not love him? You right. can't get away from him. Exactly. Like, I would only hear him on featured tracks before, because I didn't really start listening to a lot of Latin music until, like, probably the summer before I came here. Mm-hmm. Like, in between the time that I graduated and mm-hmm. the time I came here. Just, like, Spotify's, like, trending list, like, right. on Global 50 or, like, on the yeah. Latin hits. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Bad Bunny would be on different tracks. Yeah, he's all over the Latin hits mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah, and so then here, Jackie like is obsessed with him and right. she wouldn't yeah. stop talking about him and so mm-hmm. i was like all right all right let me listen to this man's actual music and i was like oh my god the bops yeah. <laughs> right yeah no yeah like him and noel they're all really big yeah like yeah. osuna I, like blew up too like mm-hmm. and jay balvin like, stayed yeah. oh jay balvin stays like, hot oh i love oh <laughs> daddy come back 
<laughs> always, always. So seeing the show, I really do think that wait outside was definitely. worth it. Yeah, like, definitely. I feel like it wasn't even that bad. You know, it's just yeah. what a few hours. I mean, it was just, and like, we were all just kind of hanging out with people. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. we all knew anyways. So. Like one day out of our college lives, you know. Right. Like we, most of us pull all nighters anyway. So like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that right now, but I know I was pissed off being in line the whole time. I was, oh yeah, low key. I got so mad if anyone like even looked at me. Like <laughs> someone put me on their story. I was like, give me Delete off. Delete it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally sitting here covered in four blankets. Don't yes. you need to be sharing with. We right <laughs> get yeah. me out of that video dude i was sitting in that line on my laptop trying to register for classes oh, at yeah. seven too oh, uh-huh. it was insane yeah i, I wasn't was the only one either yeah, yeah there was like a, like a, you a see like 10 them. minutes before everyone pulls out their laptops yeah. mm-hmm. and literally as soon as people closed them we all started running in to oh like my God, yes. get the tickets dude the girls that were at the front of the line whenever they opened the doors they ran in i'm like you're already at the front what right. are you running <laughs> for <laughs> No, I know definitely people started shoving like oh, towards yeah, the definitely. end. Oh, yeah, definitely. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because people, I've seen people try to cut in front of y'all, specifically mm-hmm. like y'all's group. And yeah. I was like, hold up, we've huh. been out here for hours. Yeah, that's why like, I threw um, those elbows. I was throwing <laughs> elbows. <laughs> Jess was ready to throw hands. <laughs> I know Vanya and Jackie came up to say hi to us, and the kids that were oh, behind yeah, us, they were like, the yo, the line is like over here. And I was just like, right. Like, serious, serious. Yeah, like, we like counted the people so many times, like in front of us, to like make sure. Yeah. Like we were maybe like what 22nd 23rd in yeah because we were like 17 yeah. or something because like which like it's not that bad they had like what 40 50 tickets so it's like okay like we, we were so good but then you have to remember people might have had the right proxies yeah that's that why i was last worried week. i was like if if like i knew like a lot of people weren't going to camp out so they just asked their friends for proxies i'm like mm-hmm. okay like you got to take into account how many people in front of us have that Mm-hmm. And then that's when I started getting a little worried. I was like, oh, like, dang. Yeah, I was like, as long as we're, like, the first 25, that's right. fine. Because even if everyone gets a proxy, yeah. we're still in. But we was, did it. Yeah, and then I was worried for my friends, too, because they got there, like, a little bit after us. Mm-hmm. So they were, like, a few people behind us. And they were, like, what, maybe, like, like in the 30s, 40s. Yeah, they were, so we were a little worried. Yeah. And then when I saw people that, were, like, came at 6 and budged in front of people yes. that were there from, like, Dude. 4 or 5, yeah. I, I was, was so heated. mad. Nah, that's not cool at all. I remember, uh, like, after we all got in, like, the cutoff. This was before we knew the wait list was, like, going to be a thing, right? Yeah, right. People, like, on their phones, like, straight up started looking for tickets to buy, like, mm-hmm. at that moment. They're the ones I think I feel the worst for. Because imagine yeah. Yeah. you wait outside since, like, 4 or 5 in the morning. You don't get a ticket, and you don't know that there's going to be an Right. Because the wait list was just, like, a maybe we'll get more tickets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They went and paid for their own tickets. Yeah, that's And clowning. still, yeah. the school ended up getting more yeah that's like so bogus yeah because like i feel i mean i feel like cab off the bat should have just gotten like a bunch of tickets but like I, like they, i guess they didn't anticipate how big bad bunny is which but is at yeah. the same Funny time like if they didn't think he'd be that much of a hit why even book a trip to see him in the first place right. was always mm-hmm. my like my thought like but they should have if like if like i'm telling you like it was literally like basically all scholars and like, they would have <laughs> yeah. just like sent out an email or something like they like they would have seen how big like yeah like how much we wanted to see him if they had done like a poll even mm-hmm. like who yeah. would you like the school to make a trip to see they would have seen the you, results i guarantee right. you every every scholar would have chosen Red Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and there's such like a big uh puerto rican population right. here as exactly. well That's so what like, I, people I want to represent like, more people to yeah. like show but it was like all scholars <laughs> literally all scholars <laughs> But like honestly, that was that the show was well worth it. He's mm-hmm. a good performer. Yeah, uh, for sure. He's he doesn't really tune a lot of his tracks. Uh, from what I heard, like no. last night, like his mm-hmm. voice is like pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, he had a few backup dancers, but they weren't on for every song. Just yeah. like the hype hype. It was ones. just him. That he, it was like, just he knows him how to hype up and lights crowd, on yeah. the stage. Yes. And like I mean, it also helps that like like I said, he has so many hits, and like everybody in there knew every single word to every yeah. song. So like just like screaming at the top of your lungs with all your friends, <laughs> it was just so fun. Yes, and uh, I was with some of our friends, Kim and mm-hmm. Val, and my roommate Fio. And like we're all different levels of hype, like right. on our own. But like I'm telling you, during that show, I looked around. Everyone around me yes. is just super lit. And mm-hmm. like when La Canción started playing, oh. Bella and I looked to each other. And we're just like tears. like single tear rolls down our cheek. A solitary oh, yeah. tear, bro. I was like, all right, good thing this mascara yeah. is waterproof. <laughs> yes. Yo, and at the show, there was these like wristbands. Oh yeah. And they all lit up, not in unison, but like programmed to mm-hmm. each song. Yeah. And so like there were some songs where it would look like stars twinkling. Yes, he had like a so space cool. looking background. Uh huh. And then there was i don't remember which song it was but i just remember looking up and it looked like a wave of color because oh, yeah, they yeah. all kind of lit up oh, in right, sequence right. doing like orange purple mm-hmm. or something yeah it looked really really cool yeah the pictures i got from that are so cool it's amazing i don't think anyone got a bad picture and people like to make fun of like concert pictures and right. videos. it's like when are you gonna look at them this one's worth watching mm-hmm. just for the visuals yeah alone. exactly right i sat there after we got back like just looking through yes. all the stuff i got i'm just like these Me are too. really yeah. sick 
Oh yeah, I definitely loved it. And I like the mm-hmm. people that we were around. Like you know, yeah, kind of got to pick like who we sat around. Yeah, because we were we got really lucky because for, um, when we were buying the tickets, like literally our friend group that were behind us. Yeah, they were the off, last it ones. It cut off right at Wait. them. So, and like oh, our dude. last friend got it because some other girl's card got declined <gasps> or something like You're that. You're joking. Yeah, so she was like the last. Uh, so my friend yeah. literally got the last ticket. That's so, like, wild. <laughs> it's like crazy that like all literally all of my friends were there. And, like yeah. we got to sit next to them, like we yeah. got to go on like on the bus ride with them, and, and everything. For some it of them, it was like their first concert and stuff. Yeah, so it was like oh, a good experience. How sweet. Mm-hmm. I've had like some crappy concert experiences, but right. I really like this one. Oh, it's yeah, cool this that one they was fun. people were, uh, I guess, going back and forth about it. But it's cool that they kind of just gave us the tickets like based on who we wanted to sit yeah. with, mm-hmm. because I know there had been talk about like there being different sections right. and stuff, but it was pretty much the same. Um, when I know some of them were a little off because yeah. I know Charlotte and Jackie were off in like one twelve. Yeah, yeah, I tried running kind of over far. there. The Y'all had 118? Lim- yeah. yeah. Okay, so we were in 118 and 112, and uh, from what I could tell, like, 118 was a little bit further back, but mm-hmm. the way that the, st- uh, not the same, the arena was set up, uh, we were kind of, like, angled for, like, a better view of yeah. the stage, yeah. but 112 was, like, closer down, so whenever mm-hmm. he, like, went on, like, towards the edge of the stage, like, yeah. they got, like, better I know they felt the pictures. confetti that flew. Oh, oh yeah. Got really? that. Like either way, I just really like the like the setup of the arena because I like that the stage was in the middle. So then There's whatever no angle, right? Exactly. Whichever yeah. whichever angle you were from, you could see him. When we like, went yeah. um, back home in Milwaukee, um, I went to see Anuel, and the stage is kind of just like a rectangle. Mm-hmm. And we got the ugliest side. We no were like, way. all I heard was his burr from far away. <laughs> most of the time, we we're just like staring at his backup dancers. Uh, it was kind of ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. But no, yeah, I, I definitely think it was worth it. Like, it was such a, like, fun show. Like, mm-hmm. it was so cool. Yeah. And the fact that he actually uses the whole stage because yeah. back mm-hmm. home, uh, Greensboro Coliseum is where a lot of shows go down. And it's it's uh, it's usually, like, a basketball, like, court because mm-hmm. there's a lot of basketball games that go on there. But there's definitely, like, a back to the stage, right? Like, that's where all the speakers are. That's where, like, right. they go onto the stage. And they don't use that side, mm-hmm. even though, like, it's a round, mm-hmm. a round, like, venue. And so for this one, for him to actually like go around and perform right. to yeah. each side of the crowd, that was yeah. mad. No, yeah, you could tell he was, yeah, space. you could tell he was really trying to like interact with everybody. Yeah. And so, yeah, that was really cool. And like, it was mostly him, like even mm-hmm. his backup dancers, like they kind of stayed out of so he could move in like, uh, in and around them. Right. Right. It was a really, really dope show. I loved yeah, it. Yeah, I loved it too. <laughs> it was probably uh, one of the better performances I've seen as well. Cause like some artists, like they, they kind of get tired, but like mm-hmm. mad hype towards the end. And you never knew when the last song was going to yes. be until he mm-hmm. said, all right, this is the last song. Yeah. And even then, you know, there's an encore. Mm-hmm. And he came back for two songs, I think, after yeah. he said he was done. Yeah. Which was super cool. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah. Like he played like all of our favorite songs, like all of the popular ones. Yeah. Like we were all and then Yeah, and the like throwbacks. The yes. Yes. I love that. Amazing. <laughs> I know he played my favorite three back to back. He played, uh, he played Caro, he played Then Mosca Hablar, and then Otra Noche in Miami. And mm-hmm. I was just like, yeah. this is like the moment that I was waiting for. This right. is what I'm living for. I could I could leave right now and be yeah, happy with no, my yeah, day. Yeah, literally. Like, I wasn't even sad when like the last song hit because like I just felt like so like happy. It was mm-hmm. so like, it was a satisfying experience. Yeah. It was really fulfilling. Yeah, for sure. But let's talk about the bus ride there. That was another <laughs> part in its own. Yes. Hi, <laughs> Shout out Oliver, our man on Ox. He, had his, he had his lit the whole time. Period. We, we played Bad Bunny basically the whole way there. Of course. Yeah. Were you guys on the same bus as us? I think we were on a different bus oh, than you. Oh, okay, yeah. But, so we were towards the back of the bus and everyone was like, oh, dude, we should have had a speaker. We should have mm-hmm. had a speaker. And we, like, no, no one thought to bring one, right? Right. And so we were we, we were just being silly, like just like yo, everyone hit play at the same time, and it, <laughs> obviously it didn't work. Val put her phone like in the like in the storage yeah. cupboard to try to like amplify the sound. She started talking about the expansion of sound, <laughs> still didn't work. And so she was like, "All right, all right." So everyone, everyone, just be quiet. Everyone, be quiet. She hit play. Everyone starts singing along, and then you just hear like people start singing along towards the front of the bus. Oh, so it's yeah. just like <laughs> the dumbest sing along ever. It was mad funny. Oh, yeah, we hopped on Bluetooth. No, yeah. Luckily, they, our our they bus, let y'all take yeah, off. Our yeah. bus oh our bus driver was so cool. His name is, shout out Carlos, our bus driver. Because he, he heard us talking about like, oh, like we should have brought a speaker. Like, yeah. I wish we like could play music and stuff. And he's like, oh, like we have Bluetooth. Bruh. So then, so then shout again, shout out Oliver. He went up and asked him. He's like, yo, can I hop on Bluetooth? The power of he's asking, like, yeah. dude. He's like, yeah, for sure. So like we were lit the whole time. He was dude. blasting that thing. Like, we kept saying, somebody go ask, can we take mm-hmm. Ox? And I know they heard us because Alyssa, the yeah. lady in charge of like cabin right. stuff, like she came back and like back and forth, but like they never let us take 
like, oh, oh so that's why we had like the whole sing along vibe going, which yeah. is mm-hmm. a vibe in and of itself. Right, right. That's so stunning. But bro, y'all took Ox. No, yeah, that's we had Ox. It was a they party blast. <laughs> yeah. And then like on top of that, everybody else like screaming the lyrics. It of was course. so fun. Yeah, I seen y'all Snapchat stories. Yeah. I was like, oh man, they're having the time <laughs> of their mm-hmm. lives. Um. All right, let's take another music break. Vanya, hit us with something. So there's this one song that um like my friend actually just showed me the other like last week probably and like I just really liked it but it's called Surface by Ella May Mustard and Ty Dolla Sign so without here further goes. ado here is that <laughs> If y'all don't know, we have a Twitter. Uh, it's podcast by K, so that's P O D K A S T X K. Send us song requests, questions, anything else there. Um, Ooh, wait, back. hold on. Speaking of speaking of Twitters, my friend told me to shout him out. <laughs> oh, I bet. Uh, so some shout is, outs. <laughs> let me see. What is his Twitter? It is. It's at White Mexican. It's Juanito. You guys probably <laughs> met him. He's from North Carolina. Demands. <laughs> shout out him but yes oh. go follow him at white mexican with a with an x and a k white shout out mexican. to my brother listening to us from wisconsin Ooh. hey javi <laughs> and shout out I to all of our mate. weekly listeners <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> including the ones that be saying some uh out of pocket stuff on twitter <laughs> but anyway um, we love you daniel <laughs> <laughs> uh anyway back to the show um so y'all Clearly, keep it with Twitter. Trading yes, topic. Indeed. Uh, internet news. There's recently been a, shall we call it, controversy of sorts with the Ace family. Oh, Oof. yes. Yes. Um, Jess, I know they tell have, us about it. They've had a lot of like problems going on recently. Yeah. A lot of them were like debating on, like, is it true, is it not? But um, one of the biggest ones that like got a lot of traction Yeah. was... um. When they went to what was it, like a taco place, mm-hmm. and they were like, you know, working like a nine to five job for fun. I know that got a lot of heat to it. Cause yeah, because like Catherine made, made like a big deal of it. Like, look at that! Like, look at me! Like, I've actually been taking orders, and we're like, okay, mm-hmm. like, yeah, <laughs> like love. I do this all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It's just like it's kind of weird, like seeing like rich people like it just like it shows how out of touch they are. Yeah, and it kind of it was kind of like a little insulting. Yeah, you ask me, you know? Yeah, it feels belittling um, because some people, I guess, are born like into wealth, into mm-hmm. like a mm-hmm. higher status of living, shall we call it? Right. right. Um, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> most of most of us at some point have to go through the struggle. And so mm-hmm. to see people kind of making making light of something that's right. like a very right. real part of our day to day lives, it's just like, bruh. Yeah, like they're doing that for fun, but we have to like do that by force. We have not. to do that and to survive. Like, uh, and like even though that's not a part of their reality, for them to be like, oh my god, can you believe people actually do this? And it's like, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. we don't just right. get paid like, to exist like, on the internet. Right. It's like you know, like other people have to work. You know how much other people struggle. So it's like, and it's like your entire viewer base too, because their viewers are like pretty young, like yeah. they're yeah. working age, and they're like a uh, very entry level like service job type yeah, working literally. age um like i know yeah i worked as a in a restaurant over the summer Mm -hmm. and uh working (laughs) waitressing it's such a struggle bro (laughs) i've definitely had like my fair shares like bad jobs oh yeah like what taco bell duncan i was like what running a one-man show at duncan (laughs) waitressing was horrible i hated it i don't know why i can't even i have like social anxiety but here i am waitressing right (laughs) i hated it (laughs) My worst day, not worst day, but like I feel like my worst experience was I got this table and there was like a teenage looking couple and uh, they paid like a twenty thirty dollar tab with a hundred dollar bill mm-hmm. oh. and left no tip. Oh and I, my god! Like not even like the three cents that I'd given them in change. Like they couldn't even leave the pennies. <laughs> right. They took every wow. single thing, and I was just like, "Bruh, you really gonna flex with a hundred in front of your girl, but not leave a tip? Okay." <laughs> He was like a special show. <laughs> right. Yeah, I hate bad tippers. Yeah. I mean, luckily, like, I've, I'm grateful that I've never had to, like, like be a waitress or anything. But, like, I've just had, like, I've had other jobs or, like, just dealing with people. And it's just like, ugh. Give not us even... one of your bad work experiences. Oh, God. So, <laughs> I used to work at um this hair salon. Mm-hmm. And I was, like, the, I was, like, the cashier. 
the so cashier like, manager <laughs> <laughs> that's an inside joke for people that don't understand but anyway so there was this i remember there was this group of three guys that would like come in i swear they would come every week i'm like i know your guys's hair doesn't grow that fast like why are you guys coming here so often right but they would come every week and like just try to hit on me like in the weirdest creepiest way like it was so cringy mm-hmm. like they'd be like oh like like what's your name and like come out the llamas and like how old are you and like when they asked me how old i was i told him i was 17 so like hopefully they would like back <laughs> off and he was like oh like really like i, I saw he was kind of taken aback and i was like yeah oof and like i swear they came like at least five or six weeks in a row like really? uh, like on the same day same time everything and like it was just so creepy Oof. Like, so that was definitely one of, like, the the weirder things that happened to me at work. Awful. Just. I feel like my summer job this year was just horrible, like, <laughs> altogether. Because I was expecting it to be, like, a, like, smooth little four-week, like, four-day thing. Mm-hmm. And um, I really underestimated, like, how tough factory jobs are. Because I was like, okay, like, I waitressed it all last summer. And I hated it. I hated interacting with people. Like, it, you know, dragged the life out of me. So I was like, I'll just work in a factory and I don't have to deal with anyone. But um, it was just horrible. Like every single break, we had three breaks. And instead of like eating, I would just like lock myself in my car and like cry Aww. and then go in and be like, all right, <laughs> ready to get this bread. <laughs> but Girl. it was all bad. Like from just like the job itself, I sucked at driving a, what is it? A pallet jack? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I ran over my toe. I got so many <laughs> cuts, bruises. It was really bad. And then like, um, I got switched over to another position and I had to work with like three other people. Uh-huh. and that was bad and um oh remember when um <laughs> so we like worked with um soap dispensers right right and we had to like test them to see if they ran so you would like um it was like five different stations and one of the stations was testing so you'd put the soap dispenser up and you like had to like press this button like water would run through it and if something was wrong the water would the water would spray out gotcha. and i knew that and i knew that if <laughs> i like over tightened something uh-huh. obviously it was gonna spray out <laughs> so this lady that was um doing the testing she was like just <laughs> nagging me the whole day and i like had yeah. enough so I, you know, tightened the crap out of the one of the little thingies. And then it's her turn to test it and it like sprays all over her face. And I oh, I was no. just dying. Like I could have gotten fired right there, but that was so funny. She's really? like, oh sorry, beginner's error. <laughs> I was like, I'll try better next time. Dude. <laughs> Did oh, it again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but that no, that so job amazing. was just horrible. So like I give a big shout out to like factory workers that do yeah, that like definitely. every day for a bunch of years. Cause I couldn't even last mm-hmm. like two months. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it was awful hard work yeah because i i actually worked at a factory with summer too but honestly with my at the area that i was in i couldn't complain like i was like in the ac like probably really? just probably just the worst part about my job was that like i had to stand all day so like my feet hurt like at the end of the day but like it was honestly not that bad like seeing like people in the back because it was like a like they made like organic soups and stuff and out in the production area in the back it was always super super hot mm-hmm and like they have like obviously no AC back there. Like they we have, we have to wear like these like big lab coats and like helmets and stuff. So like I can't imagine like working back there in that heat, like doing like in like labor intensive work. And then um actually my mom also worked at that factory, and like she worked in the kettle room, which is where they actually cooked the food. Yeah. So she would just like like first of all being in it was even hotter than it was in production since they were working like with the ovens and in the heat and everything. So it was even worse for her. And she would have to work like super long, long shifts. She would get there like 4 a.m. And sometimes not leave until like 5 or 6 p.m. So, yeah, shout out to all of them. I, you That's guys are crazy, such a huge yeah. inspiration, like definitely. And it's just like it just goes to show people that need to work are willing to put mm-hmm. in the work mm-hmm. to like do the jobs that yeah, need definitely. to get done. Yeah, I've seen people that were like do overtime because mm-hmm. I mean, like obviously they needed the money, but oh, that was so much work. And then like, um, what is it, steel toe shoes? Oh, oh dude, yes. they're not. In- <laughs> they're not. <in. laughs> they are so horrible. Yeah, so uncomfortable. I hated it. What a nightmare. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, no, nah. it's a, it's a struggle out here having to work. Um, yeah, especially like people that work these jobs and go to school at the same oh, time. Yeah, because like we pretty much school and work at opposing intervals but like some people be doing it at the same time mm-hmm. yeah my brother was doing like a third shift job while he was in college yeah i know that must have sucked yeah um it appears we have a call-in guest Ooh. not to the station but to one of our guest phones so let's put them on speaker and see what they got to say here is daniela put the put the uh, speaker up to the mic hello, hello. hi hi hey daniela welcome to podcast with a k 
<laughs> you got a comment, concern, question? Just a question. Hit us with it. So, I have a friend who's been struggling a little in the love life department, right? Uh-huh. And I really want to help her out because obviously, like, I care about my friend or whatever. Right. Um, And obviously, like, I feel like you guys would give me good advice. Oh, for sure. So I wanted to see, like, what, what advice you could give me. So my friend, um, I feel like it's more than clear that she likes a guy. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it is, and my friends think so, too, and I feel like, like, yeah, sure, like, we've been motivating her to um, pursue it, because I know the guy, too, and he seems like a pretty good catch, Uh just, I feel like my friend's a little unsure, so it's just, what could I do to kind of help her? Um, well, uh, if you say you know this kid, and you can vouch for this kid, and it's her that's on the fence then you know that's a decision that's ultimately going to be hers but you can just you know provide the intel and then let people tell her to stop being sus (laughs) (laughs) i feel like that's always kind of like a little like a bit of a tricky situation yeah it's like i don't know because it's like do you know if the other person has feelings for them or like yeah yeah, that was another question like is it because you don't know if she likes him or if you just don't know if she's willing to like see if he's worth it I guess. Right. Is it because she's too scared? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I'm not sure. Like, I know there's probably, like, other personal reasons why she doesn't want to pursue it. Uh-huh. But mm-hmm. to be honest, like, I feel like they would be a good match. And I feel like she should go for it. But it's just, I don't know how to motivate her enough uh-huh. to do it. Hopefully she's like... listening so she can know that she <laughs> right, just has yeah, to do it. She's tuning into the podcast right now. We support. We support. I guess the advice we all have is everyone just, you know, shoot they shot. <laughs> yeah, go for it, love. <laughs> Only I mean, that's what, I, that's what we all keep telling her. Like, it's cuddling season. So it's just, you gotta, <laughs> it is cold you out. It's cupping season. <laughs> you gotta cupping season's with. around the corner. Just, I feel like they spend a good amount of time <laughs> I mean, together. I'm saying, so you know. Just, why not? And then dual Halloween costumes, though. Right? Oh, Cut- yes. Mm. We couples, love couples Halloween. costumes. <laughs> God, the ones I see on Twitter are so funny. Bro, right? <laughs> <laughs> my boo and I are going to be a box of crayons. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Oh, my God. So, I have a que- another question, I guess. Since I kind of know the guy, and I, well, not to say I spend a lot of time with him, but, like, I see him pretty often. Yeah. So, like, should I kind of, like, put in a word for my friend? Um, I say you should. You Why can, not? As long as you don't, like put her right, in an awkward like disclose, situation right like disclose so much information just you know, you know kind of like, have her be like yo you know i was hanging out with this girl she's right. hilarious she's the best she's super cool she's chill right because if you like make it too obvious and they're gonna be like okay like why is this <laughs> like person- hypothetically speaking what if she liked you not like that not like that at all <laughs> yeah i don't know it's a little like it's kind of like hard because like you can't make it seem too obvious otherwise you're gonna be maybe like a little bit caught off guard you're or, like, like don't gonna- throw her under the bus right do it cautiously. Hmm. Hype your girl up. I, I'm going to go in, soup in, and just be like, hey, you single? Because my <laughs> 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 just There you go. There oh, you go. Gosh. That works as well. Like, well, you know your friend best, and you know the, this guy the best, so now, do as you see fit. I to take it slow, but it's just some things you can't really take slow. <laughs> right. Just needs that little push. <laughs> Literally, you got to put yourself out there now. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> right, like I said, <laughs> cuffing season. You can get those presents. Season. Hey, <laughs> cuffing season's right, right, right around the corner. Draft season for cuffing season. Dress season. Period. The Bro. weather's dropping. And then you mm-hmm. can make it to New Year's and then to Valentine's you're right, Day. You're right. And there you go. Period, period. Maybe even to Christmas. Oof. <laughs> okay, so I should definitely put a word in for my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put in a good word. With the guy yeah. she likes. And then kind of motivate her a little bit more. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay yes. yeah just yeah like just like carla said you know try to make it like try to make it seem like low-key you know just like, casual like right. hype her up but don't throw her under the bus right gotcha gotcha okay thank you daniela thank you thanks for calling in to podcast with thank you thank you for your <laughs> advice of course <laughs> I'm glad we figured out a system for people to call in. Because yes. <laughs> <laughs> this way we also uh, can make sure we know who's calling in, question mm-hmm. mark. Because I remember last time we tried to do this, 
we were discussing we were trying to come up with debate topics and right. so we had people call in and give us topics uh-huh. and one person gave us like a really interesting question but we didn't know who was asking oh, okay so you know it was it was a whole it was a whole thing like it wasn't like they asked anything bad but right it was just like weird to not know who was asking yeah mm-hmm. yeah and this way like we know who's like <laughs> who's calling and like yeah you can kind of hint at what they're gonna say and stuff and like i feel like some people might try to call in like on on private numbers but right. it's just kind of like how are we supposed to know if you're a real person right. or a telemarketer or like what are you gonna like we, we can't what are you gonna say like, like stuff, bro you like, got you know? a like you got a voice modulator you finna call right. in with some like <laughs> darth <laughs> vader type stuff like <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but yeah if y'all want to call in y'all can call whichever yes. one of the guest numbers if you, you guys got. have our numbers then that's how you can, yeah we'll know we know you can trust you can, uh, we'll know we can trust you if we yeah. have our numbers <laughs> no private numbers please <laughs> <laughs> until we get like the phone in the station working but like, yeah. even then just know we got to screen the calls because we official up in this beat yes mm-hmm. <laughs> um but yeah what, what were we talking about before i don't remember um, i think work I yeah think so, jobs yeah. Uh, let's show you all said you'll have to register for classes soon oh, huh? yes oh yeah like, we have to get our schedules so in order because yeah i haven't even like picked out my classes yet <laughs> <laughs> and we literally register in a few hours but yeah i don't know i just have to figure out like because like it's like it's like such a like struggle like having to do it all in one day because your l- whole semester is going to depend on it mm-hmm. and right. it's like you want you don't want to like book on book too many classes for one day or like you know like you want to make sure you have time for like extracurriculars and like <laughs> eating sleeping right it's a whole thing it's a yeah, whole thing for sure. i made the mistake of having like days of just back-to-back classes with no breaks for like eating oh, mm-hmm. yeah. and i know i was talking to one of my friends and he was like no no no. i scheduled my nap no, times yeah. and i was like you did what that's smart <laughs> yeah i i scheduled all like since i started i scheduled all my classes with like at least like one hour in between them so i like have time to like go to her early and like eat something because right. i will die if i like don't eat <laughs> That's what I forgot to do this year. Like I scheduled a cla- <laughs> my earliest class on Tuesdays and Thursdays is at twelve thirty, and I was like, okay, Hurley opens at eleven. I'll go eat. But um, first of all, Hurley opens at seven fifteen. <laughs> no, but <laughs> lunch. No one likes their breakfast. <laughs> I was like, Jess, you know, right? <laughs> you got options. No Just one wakes excuses. up that early. No, but I don't even wake up at eleven, so I I don't eat on. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't eat until like five when I oh, yeah, when I'm really. out of my latest class. But that's also Jess's fault. Like if y'all know her, she'll be like. She'll be like, oh, like, my class is at four. And, like, it's, like, it's already 12. So I guess I just won't have time to eat. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> well, She's on her skinny queen diet. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all only. jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah Carey could never. <laughs> She's like, if y'all see me looking slim, thick ne- by next week, don't be alone. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we have time for another song before we sign off for the night. So... What are we listening to, y'all? Well, Ooh. I think just in honor of Bad Bunny and the great time that we had last night, I think it's only right to finish off with a song by him. Yes, a nice little Bad Bunny track. All right, so what are we listening to? Uh, Como un bebe. Yes, that's definitely my favorite song off Oasis. Mm-hmm. So Love it. Oh, man. It. All right, <laughs> so without further ado, here's Como un bebe, J Balvin, Bad Bunny, and Mr. Easy. <laughs> We have oh, a caller. another caller. <laughs> All right. Let's get them on air. Hel- oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, caller number two. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, <laughs> this Wrong is Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Any a trust serious account. questions, caller number one? <laughs> no, this is Patrick. <laughs> no, this is podcast. <laughs> yes, this is podcast. <laughs> And we're <laughs> all right. Good call. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, as our time is drawn to a close, any closing remarks, last words, final shout outs, etc. Um, well, if any of our Wisconsin friends back home are watching, shout out to y'all. We miss you guys. <laughs> I'm a shout out to my only friend, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I know we do get a lot of listeners, uh, from like our guests from mm-hmm. like back home uh y'all are from wisconsin which is forever away <laughs> uh we've had Nora on the show before she's also from oh, wisconsin yeah. oh. and ivan too and ivan and ivan yeah i know my family and friends listen from north carolina mm-hmm. and our friends listen to the show here so right. 
It's cool to have people yeah. listening from all around the country. Mm-hmm. Let us know if y'all are listening. Go like my tweet or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we used to have a site that would track in like real time the listeners, but we're in the process of switching like meters. Mm-hmm. So we'll get that back up and running. And uh, if you didn't already know, but I feel like I've mentioned this before on the show, uh, each episode is saved and then posted to YouTube so that our guests can share or I in case someone listening. couldn't listen because... Uh, you know, we are on at 11 on Sunday, which isn't the most like listener friendly hour, right? <laughs> but it's good for us for the show because we're all awake anyway. All of our friends that are listening, if we all report Vanya's page at once, we get quality <laughs> content back oh on Twitter. God, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how we make our name be known. Amazing, amazing. Um, but yeah, follow podcast with a K. Yes, yes, yes please. Twitter. That's P O D K A S T X K on Twitter. We Period. out ya. Um, and y'all want to shout y'all's own social medias out? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, don't go. Don't follow Jess. Not quality right. content. I'm like, don't follow J A with three A's. Y Y <laughs> underscore C E E number yeah. three. <laughs> don't nobody got time for that anyway. So I'll Ooh. shout out mine. <laughs> Follow yeah, me on Instagram bit. at PerezV22. Same thing on Twitter. Rat Pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, same thing on Twitter, PerezV22. Add me on Snapchat at Vanya.22. And yes, <laughs> she She shouted out her Snapchat and everything, too. <laughs> Amos. She said, follow my LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> my LinkedIn. <laughs> Yo, that networking, though. <laughs> Go follow me on Pinterest now. Add me on Kick. <laughs> has to be done. Has to be done. Do you say kick? Yeah. <laughs> it's being shut down. The end oh, of the movie. I know. Era. We hate it. My sister got me into it for like the little mini games. And uh. then like I got found out like that I had friends that use it too. So we would just do all the group chats there. I and had then, the most crackhead stuff on I feel like, kick. I feel like people are going to hate me, but I actually never had a kick. Ever, ever? <laughs> no. For n- anything ever at mm-hmm. all? Like I always heard about it, but I was like, oh, like I don't I don't see what the she hype like, is. Like It wasn't available for Android. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't know, because I heard that little iPhone 3 was struggling, so Ooh, I'm surprised you had enough storage, key. sis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, I had an iPod Touch whenever Kick was like a thing. Same, same. So, like, I know I started failing as soon as the iPhone 5 dropped, so <laughs> sis, stay in your lane. <laughs> but yes, the end of an era as Kick is. <laughs> Dude, we lost another one. First Vine, mm-hmm. now Kick. Who's next? Twitter. <laughs> never, never. I feel like it has to be show. like Facebook, because like all the old folk are on Facebook now. It's e- it's either like like all of your like parents and like their friends, or like yeah. people that like didn't do th- like didn't do anything with their lives after high school are still on Facebook. <laughs> Sis, all my high school teachers. Yes, dude, an extended family that only ever likes right. The most random you post a picture. Hola, mija, saludos. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> or like, thank you. I don't know who you are. Right. Or like on your birthday when you like your parents make a post about you and like all their friends oh comment on their post. Yes. So then you have to go and like say thank you to everybody. Dude, I've got friends that I see like not liking, not even just liking <laughs> comments and like the audacity. You right. have to like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's internet etiquette. <laughs> I know. I hate if I tag someone in something and they don't like react <laughs> it at all. Yeah. I feel so salty. Even if they acknowledge it in person, it's like, how the internet people right it. <laughs> it's like you left me hanging on the internet it's not the same you really went into this in front of all of my internet I friends look. <laughs> <laughs> hit me with that haha you know right. Right? <laughs> or people that be sharing your posts without liking them right mm-hmm. or like retweeting without liking i'm like oh rude like i do that all the time i know i don't wow. like something if i retweet it mm-hmm. Pues She's over here. <laughs> and what, what you, about it? Practice love. what you preach, sis. Ooh. That's Facebook. Ooh. It's different. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> you know, it's also like the worst on Instagram tagging someone in a giveaway and they don't even like it. It's oh, like, yeah. oh, I never like giveaways. Bro, I know Bonnie wow. tags me in all of them. You are so fake. I'm like, okay. another one? In search, another one, love. In yeah. search of a new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> we're Please. Trying, <laughs> we're trying to get y'all free stuff. Right. Like, just like, like the comments. You could have reciprocated the energy. Like, you could have like tagged me in it. Put it. Enter not even too. not even <laughs> it's, like, it's the thought that counts but i see how it is now at what cost <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm sorry i bothered you with my friendship just oh snap. sorry i can't forgive you <laughs> <laughs> and this is how the podcast became a counseling show <laughs> <laughs> group therapy <laughs> <laughs> i mean honestly um yeah as we were saying before i don't know what we were talking about yeah, but I don't 
um this is a good way to end the show i guess yeah, <laughs> yes that's just that's me and jess in a nutshell for everyone out there <laughs> yeah by popular request they're finally here live <laughs> on the air <laughs> literally shall bring the whole circus next time oh, yes everyone Us and all the needle night clowns so you've met like the people that are talking about before if you listen to the show we've had rodrigo chris ivan and jorge on multiple times uh we've had charlotte on as well the only one we're missing is jackie oh yeah get jackie yes, on here next her on. jackie didn't work on sundays oh right <laughs> but hopefully next semester we'll be able to have her on we'll have the um the studios next yeah. door set up as well that way we'll have like a whole round table discussion okay but for all the shenanigans <laughs> Oof, get, ready, get ready for that one <laughs> <laughs> all right well all right so jess vanya thank you so much for coming on the show thank you for thank having you us so much um anything you'd like to say before we sign off for the night shout out to our friends that are listening la familia and if Oliver is listening, happy birthday. Oh, yeah. it's his birthday Midnight. Huh? There you happy happy birthday. birthday, sir. Scorpio season or whatever. I know. I'm Hate so sad. Libra it. season just ended. But <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have our, our own Zodiac chances again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks so much for listening. This has been 90.1 WECSFM. You've been hearing podcasts with a K. This is Carla with a K signing off with Jess and Vanya. Uh, we'll see y'all next week. Same time, same station. New nonsense, new guest. Have a good night.